morning all, it's Nardi and Chris. And it's the Daily Espresso, short shots of big ideas. And we're coming live from the Melling Room in Surrey Hills in Melbourne. And um, I don't know if you can see behind me some of the uh, really old stained glass windows. And we're, we're in an absolutely unbelievable location. It's, um, if you can position a bit of a corner, I think it was an old, bank, an old post office or an old yes. bank. Um, and the uh, the heritage of this place is just phenomenal and really nice and you know I mean we love the modern but um, uh, we uh, you know, we love the, uh, the, the the heritage here as well it's really really lovely and um, you know incredibly authentic um, and uh, today I'm actually enjoying a, a single origin special from Indonesia um, apparently I'm going to be tasting some pineapple some uh, tropical acidity. Um, yeah, I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I'm not going to wait till the end of my rant, so I'm going to have a little bit of a hit. Wow, that is awesome. Uh, you know, different. Uh, Indonesian, right? Everyone stays away from it sometimes because it's quite strong, but um, really, really nice. Uh, but let's let's get into the topic of the day, and I think loyalty is a, a huge one. Um, and loyalty spreads across all divisions and facets of your business. It's not just you know, customer loyalty, which most people think of, or loyalty that they are owed. All right, loyalty is not owed. All right, okay, it's not. It's not. It's not just simply provided, but it's um, uh, loyalty is earned. Okay, so um, <laughs> here's my water coming. Um, loyalty. Great, loyal- great service here. Yeah. Great, great service. It is great service. They, they, they all wonder what, what the hell we're doing. But um, loyalty is 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 earned by providing value. Um, and, and that loyalty, and let's start with loyalty of customer loyalty because that's huge. Now, loyalty definitely makes, you know, customer loyalty makes definite sense, you know, definite dollars. Um, but it's only provided through that constant value, um, through that constant value, through your front of house team, through the people that are, that are client facing, and through the fulfillment team as well, providing that constant value through the product that you're providing. And if you can do that, and it's, I think it's a, it's a no brainer, we don't have to really talk too much about it. But if you can provide that value to your customers, um, and sometimes value to a customer means knowing their name. Uh, if you're a kind of say a restaurant cafe, maybe is the one we're in. Like if someone comes in, I mean, how have you felt uh, every time you walk into your, um, you know, local? Uh, thanks, Chris. And um, they know your name, and they know your favourite coffee, and they don't even ask you if you want it. They just actually come down. You sit down and they drop it right in front of you. Um, That makes you incredibly loyal as human beings. We love to feel important. We love to feel valued. And that loyalty, uh, you know, hinders us or or restricts us or, you know, blocks out the need for us to go off looking for something better. Because in our minds, we've found that. So that value's kicked in. And as a customer, we love that value and we love being valued and made important. And we create, and that loyalty is created. Um, you know, and we make it our own. And uh, I mean, look, whilst we're, uh, we love so many different cafes around Melbourne, and we're trying to get on this mission of 80 cafes in 80 days, um, but we still have, you know, say, Lights in the Attic, which is our local, this is our little go to. We go in there, there's a lot of banter behind, you know, with the, with the team that works there. We know everyone really well. A lot of the discussions we have are not about the coffee, but about them and their personal lives. And, you know, they have, through the value that they've provided to us, um, you know, earned that loyalty from us. And, you know, we, we, uh, we feel almost guilty uh, every time we go off and have a coffee somewhere else. So we feel a little bit of guilt the last couple of weeks, but um, Lights in the Attic, we love you. Um, so the customer loyalty is really important from, in that respect. And, it, it, you know, if you, there's not a lot that you need to do to create that. What I don't want you to do as a business owner is feel that it's your God-given right to 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 you know to have that loyalty from every single person. Okay, um, the loyalty is earned. However, it all, you know can can you know things can break it. All right, things can break it. Um, so maintain that loyalty by providing value, not by expecting that it comes to you. All right, so a lot about expectation. expectations. Expectations. Yep. So expectation gaps, big ones. Um, yeah, you know, team loyalty is a huge one. Right. I mean, you know. Someone once said to me that, that no one in your team's indispensable. Look, it's debatable. Um, there's so much tech, the technology that's replacing people, but ultimately, you, you know, I don't think people are, will be replaced by robots for every single thing that they, they do. Um, loyalty comes in both ways with a, with a, within business and employees, um, and it has to start by loyalty from the employer has to start by loyalty from the employer. Um, 
you know, showing that uh, and look, uh, and loyalty through value, I think, is a real big one. So loyalty through value of the team, um, and and not expecting that they're going to come back, you know, and come back and, and give you that loyalty. You know, I've always said if you, you know, typically if an employee sticks around for two years with you, then you know, look, you're doing the right thing in today's day and age. So for all those employees out there, um, you know, I mean. I don't think that if your employer is thinking that you're, you're indebted to them for giving you a job, um, that, that's, that's you know, I think those days are probably gone. But um, nor do I think that you know you, you should you should feel that you you have to be loyal to that employer. I mean, look, you know, an employer-employee relationships a, it's a, you know it's a transactional relationship. It's something that happens day in day out over a very long period of time until something uh, you know no longer works out. As an employers, we're all constantly trying to add value to our team by giving them a better, you know, better place to work, more interesting stuff to work on, um, you know, better environment, uh, better, you know, better provide them with, with whatever motivates them and, and, and you know and matters most to them. Um, but you know, I, I guess uh, you know, as business owners, we're always expecting that loyalty in return and loyalty just by way of time. Um, I think uh, look. I think as a business owner, I'm going to put it out there that if you if you do believe as a business owner that you're entitled, um, you're entitled to loyalty from your customers, entitled to loyalty from your team, then you're probably just going to get yourself a little bit angry when that loyalty uh, is not reciprocated the other way. So, and Chris is nodding his head. It's true, um, and, and that's really the big take on it. So, you know, when we look at loyalty, don't expect it to be given. Um, expect it to be earned and and it, and do not expect that it does not have to be it's not a hard slog to maintain it um, every day is a day of hard work every day is a day of providing value and every day is a day where you can build on that loyalty when the loyalty becomes a point where it turns into referrals and repeat business and people shouting your name out from the rooftops that's when you know when you've turned your customers or your employees into advocates. And you know that's probably uh, yeah, a good topic for another post. But that's the level, that's when you know when you've hit the mark. When people are approaching you because what you've done is absolutely phenomenal, it, it, it's, you know, it's radically changing everything else out in the market and it's providing value, you're gonna find that people are gonna talk and rave on about you. You're gonna build an amazing team because your employees will feel that loyalty, your employees will feel that value and your employees will go out there and advocate. Same thing with your customers as well. And it's not hard. I mean, customers don't just advocate for someone based on the product anymore. Um, it has to be a complete package. And that all comes through loyalty. And once you have that, once you're providing that, the loyalty will come through. Good one. That's, that's, the, that's the chat on loyalty. Guys, um, uh, you know, it's uh, another week down, another, another week of daily espressos. Um, someone, a client actually said to me the, uh, the other day, Matty Gordon, if you, if, you, if you get a chance to look at this, um, cheers, thanks for the feedback. Um, how do you find the energy? Well, it's quite simple. I, I said to Chris, it's passion. And I said to Matty, it's passion. Um, no, I, I absolutely love bringing these uh, to everyone. It's, um, you know, it's, a, it's a great medium and it, it, you know, I, I think it's a great idea if you guys are looking, you, know, you haven't explored Facebook Live yet. Um, you've got value in what you do. You've got value. Everyone has, has value to bring. Um, why don't you have a crack? Have a crack at posting a live Facebook live video next week about anything. You know, not your kids. Um, you know, preferably something about some value that you can bring to someone. And you will see if it's something that you can bring to your customers or clients or staff or team, um, you might see some immediate rewards. And you know, look, if you keep momentum, passion, passion drives momentum. If you can do that, you, you're, uh, you're going to win. Um, it's been fun. Have a great weekend. Have an awesome Friday. Follow through Friday. Get things done. I'm Nardi. The man behind the cam is Chris. Hello. <laughs> it's the Daily Espresso. Short shots of big ideas. We're at the Malling Room. I'm enjoying my Indonesian single origin. <laughs> Have a great weekend. Enjoy the pineapples and bananas. Pineapples and bananas. Cheers.